In this video, I want to apply the divergence theorem to calculate the surface of a sphere. Of course, we don't need to apply the divergence theorem in reality because we already know the answer. But I deem this exercise appropriate to improve our knowledge of the divergence theorem. So we have to integrate over ds, which is the element of the surface, of a sphere. A sphere with radius, let's say, capital R. So the equation for the sphere is x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to r squared. And now we are going to use a trick here. So this integral can be written as the unit normal dot product with the unit normal times ds, because the dot product between the unit normal with itself is of course equal to one. So we have added one inside the expression, and of course we can do that. We are considering one just written in a different way. And this is of course equal to the integral of the divergence of the normal and then we integrate over the volume in this case. So this is, if you want an integral over a closed surface, closed surface, and then here we have an integral over the volume contained by that surface. And we have to find the expression for the unit normal is quite intuitive. So one can also remember this by heart, essentially, because this is just the vector of x, y, z, and then it is divided by the norm of this vector to make it unitary. So we get x squared plus y squared plus z squared. But since we have this equation for the sphere, this is just equal to x, y, z vector. And then we divide by the radius. Another way to find the normal, if you don't know how to, I mean, if you don't remember this expression is to calculate the gradient of this expression here. So if you take, if you consider the gradient of that, we get uh, 2x, 2y, 2z, if you want. And this is already a vector which is normal to the surface. It is not a unit vector, so you have to make it unitary. And this is the way to do it. So there is nothing major about this. And if you want, this is the gradient of this expression here. So we can define the function f as x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus r squared. And of course, if you take the gradient of the function f, you will get something which is normal to the surface. Why is that? Well, if you take the differential of f, this is by definition the gradient of f dot product with the, the tangent vector dx. dx is tangent to the surface. And therefore, gradient of f will be perpendicular to the surface. Why? Well, because the differential of f is equal to zero. Because you see that we define the function f, which is equal to zero, and because of this expression. So the differential of f is equal to zero. And since this is tangent to the surface, this must be perpendicular to the surface because the dot product is equal to zero. That's just the intuition behind it. Anyway, now that we have all our expressions, we just have to take the divergence of this. One over r is constant, so I can put it out of the integral and then I have the divergence of this vector. So I have the derivative of x with respect to x plus the derivative of y with respect to y plus the derivative of z with respect to z. And that's of course equal to three. Div, dv, which is the the infinitesimal volume, so I have 3 over r times the volume of the sphere. And, well, this is very easy because we already know the volume of the sphere. I'm not going to calculate the triple integral. You can do it in spherical coordinates. We have 3 over r times 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And, lo and behold, this is exactly equal to 4 pi r squared, which is the surface of the sphere that we wanted to calculate. And, so I think that this exercise was quite useful. We will also do another exercise next time, but in that case, we will calculate by using, uh, still using the divergence theorem, the surface of a cube. And that's going to be more complicated because it is not so, let's say, easy to find the divergence 
of the normal in that case. And we will see it in a future video.